guys, so I got my Onyx Ice Skin Frost in the mail and unfortunately it is completely smashed. Now I have emailed the Jeffree Star customer services team and they're like, hey we'll hook you up with a new one. So I'm like, well, since I've got this, I might as well do a tutorial on how to fix broken shadows, highlighters and any powders that crack or smash. So let's give this a wee go today. So, oh this is the lovely packaging it came in, isn't it just gorgeous, I love it, it's got wee bats on it too, so super cute. Anyway, so we'll open this up, so as you can see it is a shattered one, but that's okay because soon it's going to be looking fantastic. So this is Jeffree Star Onyx Ice, as you can see it is going to be, <laughs> it's a wee bit shattered there. But that's okay, they're sending a new one, so that's great, they're fixing that. So I've got it all over my hands, so make sure when you're doing this that you've got like a cloth nearby. What you're going to need is some alcohol, so I've got some green apple vodka in here. And then you're also going to need some makeup pads. And also, so you're going to need something to press all the bits in and also break them up. So I'm just going to use the back of a makeup brush, and I'm just going to just get these little bits in. This formula is so creamy though, it's amazing. So although I'm a bit sad that um, it is like shattered, they are sending me a replacement. So I think that that's really great. They got onto it really quick and they said that they'd send me one ASAP. So that is completely fine. So that's why I'm not so like, I'm not angry. They've rectified the situation. They can't help if it breaks in, um, in transit, but yet they still fix it, which is awesome. Because I also ordered ice cold. And I got that one and it was completely fine. So I don't know if it was beforehand or what, but um, everything's in bubble wrap and it's all completely covered and everything. So I'm not sure what happened there. So after getting it everywhere, we're going to get a wee bit of alcohol and you're just going to put a few drops in. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to get a makeup pad. I'm going to pour the alcohol oh, onto it. <laughs> I'm going to pour it on all onto it and then I'm going to squeeze it because I don't have a dropper so I'm just going to squeeze like a few drops and drillips along everywhere. So that is like that. So you can see I've dropped it on and there's the liquid on top. So I'm going to get a, another brush with a flat end so I'm going to get one of my Real Techniques brushes and I'm just going to kind of flatten it and kind of mixing it at the same time and just trying to spread that alcohol around. Just get all the bits in there and everything. Scoop it off like that. Now that that's all mixed, of course you're going to not be able to save all the product. It's just what's going to happen. So now we're going to get some makeup pads and I'm just going to squeeze them in. This will also absorb the extra alcohol and get your shape in. So I'm just going to put that on down too. And then of course, because Jeffree Star's pans are huge, I'm going to get a, another one as well. So that is four. I'm going to need five, actually. <laughs> I could have pieced these better, dip, like, better, but I didn't. Just put these on. So, maybe even like close it. And while I've got that in there and I've closed it down, I'm just going to give everything a wee wipe. But like, look at this shade though. Look at that. It's amazing. I'm just going to give that a wee clean. So now that I'll open this up. So I'll lift these away. As you can see, it's nice and flat. And there you can also press it down with your finger just to make sure it's all nice and flat. So there's just a bit missing from in here. So I'm just going to get these extra parts and put that in there. Just press it in. It's good because with the makeup pads, like there's a little clump here, but it doesn't like stick with most of the product. It kind of like just rubs off on it. So that's really good too. It doesn't lift up everything, which is fantastic. See, it didn't lift up those big blobs I just put in. <laughs> oh, there's still a little bit of star there. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going to get these wipes as well. And just clean the outside so it's not so broken looking. And then just clean 
So as you can see at the moment, it's not looking very pretty. So after I've flattened it out, what I'm going to try is I'm going to get some more makeup pads. You're going to be using a shit ton of these. And I'm just going to line the inside with them. And then I'm going to close it on it. So I haven't filled all the spaces, but I'm just going to close that on it. So it's completely closed now. Just clean the all this area of it. And then when you open it, you should see that... And when you open it, you should see that it's got the pads on the inside. So that will absorb any extra moisture or anything like that. So we're just going to close it. And then we are going to leave it for a few hours. And then we're going to check on its progress. So you will need it to completely dry out and absorb all the alcohol and those wipes to absorb it. So check it on a few hours, take out the pads and then just leave it to dry in either the sun or just put it in a nice place where no one's going to knock it down or it get disturbed. So that is pretty much how you fix it. Just with those steps there and you, then you've just got to wait for it to dry before you can use it again. So it's been about an hour. So what I've actually done is you'll see in a minute when I open this up is I've actually cut the um, makeup wipes to shape because I checked on it after about like half an hour and I was like oh, I'm going to cut these to shape like I've decided I want to do that now so I've checked on it now and it's all soaked up all of the alcohol in there so I'm just going to take off all of these pads and that is it like so and that is the highlighter onyx ice all fixed so it's not like beautifully done or a beautiful finish or anything but it's completely intact and it's still completely usable so hopefully you guys enjoyed that easy quick how to put a powder together whether you've got a broken eyeshadow or if you've got um a broken highlighter broken powder broken bronzer anything like that then you can just use this technique and put it together just like so if you guys enjoyed that then please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to follow me on instagram and facebook is cerise 1307 and on snapchat is cerise e e e e and i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye